Hello, and welcome to the Poké Dome. Hi. Uh, Poké Dome. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this a uh, family-friendly stream, so your turn now. <laughs> um, uh, getting a blowjob from a Pokemon. <laughs> I was actually going to go even dirtier, but let's move on. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm back, so back. I apologize. We were gonna have Pokey Will on Tuesday and local chat on Thursday, but I couldn't make it, so we just canceled it. Uh, actually, you know what? I feel bad about that because that is a local chat joke. I'm not allowed to cross streams <laughs> yeah. with that. That is a local chat joke. Yeah, what the fuck? So, yeah, sorry. You, I heard you did play on Tuesday, but we postponed Thursday's local chat. What happened on Thursday? Also, we can't see the game. What? Uh, yeah. Also, I, I can't hear the game. Oh god, I accidentally triggered the Whooper watch. <laughs> Did not mean to do that, but everyone gets to see it. Um, you should hear the game. I don't. Uh, through Parsec. Uh, let me double check that. Oh. I had Parsec muted. How which I've never done. You come at me like that, and I only come back harder. Aaron Carter. Um, what was if the question? Come on me, you better posed? not miss. <laughs> uh, hi, Halucha. Um, um, let's. How did how did things go on Tuesday? And let's go through your roster. Oh, Tuesday was good. Oh, there you go. Oh, did you put it beforehand? Yeah, I remember to write it down. Okay, but let. So while I'm doing this, let's go through it for the stream as well. Just yes. So. Yes, I was going to. Tuesday went well. Yeah, I... so while I'm doing this, just go ahead and let them know how it went on Tuesday. What your party is. Tu on Tuesday... I'm going to do this real quick. Sorry. Tuesday was going great. Um, I started the stream by wiping my four hours of progress from the previous stream. So I just had to redo everything that I had done off stream. So that was fun. Oh, how did you wipe it? Just juggling I, the files? So I have several steps. Uh, when I remove the file from the computer, or from the 3DS, I put it into a, a source folder, and I make sure all the sort of stuff is good. And so instead of doing that at the beginning of a stream, I did the progress, the thing I do at the end of the stream, which is I plugged in my 3DS before the stream, took the save file that was on my computer and put it back on my 3DS, thus writing over the other save. Oh, and I just sat absolute, there. You absolute fucking moron. No, I'm just kidding. It's I could not imagine trying to juggle save dates, so, dates so et cetera. The, well, on top of that, there are also different save file types. So I literally had to change the file type from the emulator to the 3DS to then overwrite oh it. So it's like, I was not paying attention. I know this is all. too little too late, but I feel like maybe if you just change your process instead of deleting, you just add rename like old or like add a date to it. Would that work? So I the, the problem is I had just dragged it back onto the 3DS. Like I, my yeah. progress, my thing is now when I pull the file off the 3DS, I take the card out. Because gotcha, I gotcha, put it into okay. a source folder and then so I have the files every step of the way. I just did the wrong process. So there were yeah, no, yeah, yeah. there was nothing to stop me. <laughs> well, so then let me ask the question. Did you do did you make any progress last stream? Totally understanding the situation between last stream uh, yes, or, so, or now? Where are you at now? So I had been over leveled a bit. So I went and did all the stream content and then off stream again. I went and did the same stuff over again. Um, gotcha. Okay. So, I so you have four. You have, so you have four badges now. Correct. Can you show me your badges real quick, just because it's hard yes. for me to find on the trainer card the actual images? It's like a lightning bolt. Okay, got it. Got um, it. yes. Yeah, so the. Got it. Okay, we're good. That fight was fine. Um, so I went and caught a bunch of new Pokemon. I've leveled them up a bunch. Um. People have evolved, small, small, tiny evolved, Schnitzel evolved. Um, Mr. DeVito so has you, not evolved yet. Gotcha. So you are now, you did Route 5, so now you're ready for Drift Vale City. Yes, I did not cross the bridge. Um, I lowered the bridge, but I did not cross it. 
Did you do Route 5? I did Route 5, so I, like, I, Route 5 isn't okay. that very long. It's just gotcha, it's before. Right okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, well, let's keep going then. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this game. Hi, Halucha. How's it going, buddy? Hi, Halucha. Wait, go back. You need to talk to someone? Is yeah. it Mr. DeVito? Who do I have to talk to? Is, oh, okay. it going on the, is it going on the date with my girlfriend? Because I did that. Pokemon White. Mr. DeVito. Pokemon White. I, you know, I'm not finding anything here. I hate you. <laughs> Red I hair. Too far. You're being a real idiot. Mm -hmm. Too far? What? Oh, it's kind of hot in here. Are you talking about this guy? Oh, yeah, go talk to that guy. Yeah, good for you, man. Yellow outfit, red hair. Let's talk to that guy, too. Isn't that the isn't that the gym leader? No. Or that's the androgynous guy from. I think we're good. No, it didn't trigger anything. I if you're talking about like fighting these preschoolers and talking to this guy, I did all that stuff already. Yeah. Okay. That let's, was part of the going. group. That was part of the Route 5, uh, thing. It is- So? It, it, it triggers when you first go out. Uh, I've been good. Uh, how's the Pokemon? You like the Pokemons? You know, unfortunately, Ian, another game has come into my life, and I have not been spending that much time with Pokemon, if you can believe it. It's fine, because honestly, I think between now and the end, there's only a couple more where you will need to do off-stream off stuff. So. Yeah, the problem is this was my watch TV and play game, and now that has been replaced. With what? With Fire Emblems, the Sacred Stones. Oh, I'll have to look that one up. I don't know that one. Jason convinced me. And by Jason convinced hey, me, I mean Jason and Kyle yelled at me. We can talk about the Nintendo Direct because uh, <gasps> we already I covered was not it. on local chat. It's true. The new Fire Emblem. Okay, I saw it. I didn't watch it though. I just saw some screenshots from it. Is it is it more three houses or is it more typical Fire Emblem? I think it's more typical Fire Emblem. Like it, ha I don't know how three houses plays, but this was like um, three houses has a lot of you running around talking to people and managing and pretending to be a high schooler outside of the battles. Yeah, no, this seemed like a lot of um, flying, not flying. Thank uh, God. Fighting. Yeah, the Game Boy Advance one is the one I'm playing. Sacred Stones. It looks pretty good. Maybe I'll play that on my 3DS. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I guess you could I play got too many. Previous. I got too many games going on right now. And games coming out soon. Isn't there more? Like, Splatoon just came out. Uh, Slime Rancher 2 comes out on the, this Thursday. Gundam Evolution comes out this Wednesday. Oh my god. Rail goodness. grade? Rail grade the following Thursday? Is rail grade coming, coming only on. to switch? I don't think so. Let me look it up. Rail grade. I think it's uh switch and PC. It says switch and PC, but I, I let me check the release date. Yeah. Yeah, Sacred it's Stone's super fun. October. Oh, it's October 6th on PC. Let me see what it is. The 30th, I think, or the 29th. It's the 29th. According to Nintendo, it's the 29th on Switch, and according to Epic, it's the 6th, October 6th, which kind of sucks. The other thing is, I think October's the right month for Maggie and I to play um, the Quarry, so I'm gonna have to pick that up and play that at some point. Uh, Holusha, I did not go. The business trip was actually pretty busy. I was basically working between like 7 a.m. to like. 8 p.m. every day. Not working, but like with co-workers. And also, I didn't have the Fucking rental car. It was my boss's boss that had the rental car, so we just kind of went from hotel to the... to where the, the the meeting was and then to the... So I, I didn't really get to see San Diego that much. I will say this. Look, San Diego's nice. It's way too bougie for me. It's a pretty bougie upscale city. Uh, everything's pretty expensive. You have to pay for parking. 
in a lot of places, Ugh. which sucks. Ugh. It, it, look, I've never been to Hollywood, but it felt like how I think Hollywood would feel, if that makes sense. Where it's just Hollywood's like a lot of terrible. Ups, a lot of upscale stuff and like, you know, traffic and like rich people. <laughs> Alicia, I, I love was that you in, called him babes. <laughs> babes. I was mostly, <laughs> in, I was mostly in Del Mar and La Jolla. Because my hotel was in Del Mar, La Jolla was where the hotel was where we had the meetings. So I was kind of bouncing between La Jolla and Del Mar. Del Mar. Del Mar. Okay, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. It's only that part of town. Okay. I do want to go back. I'd love to go back. I just don't think I could live there. It ain't me. But it was nice. It's very nice. It ain't free. It was nice. I got jet lagged and I never really adjusted, so I was just kind of jet lagged all week, which sucked. But oh well. Um, nice. I, I the 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 other thing was that. So I haven't been in the office in two and a half years. So honestly, it was kind of nice to put on my work clothes again, which is like. We, we didn't have to, but I like to wear, like, khakis and, like, a dress shirt and, like, tuck it in, you know? And that was nice. Um, and then the other thing was a lot of the people... I was trying to think. I'm pretty sure... Sorry, I'm just thinking. I think there was about 20 of us there, and I think I had met about... 18 of them before and I regularly work with about 10 of them but I had never met any of them in person <laughs> because even before COVID they were in like San Diego or Dallas and they never came to the Baltimore office so to show up and be like oh oh hey you know it was like it was pretty cool it was pretty cool to meet your co-workers that you like talk to seven times a day for the first time in person it was pretty cool it was, it was a good visit yeah, my coworker keeps saying that. She's like, I, can we just see how tall you are in person? And I was just like, I can't wait forever to find out how bad my breath is in person. <laughs> yeah, because during say? COVID, Sorry, I, I wore masks. Kind of multiple times. I was just saying it's less. What? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm taking it back a little bit. It's a little mean. I was going to say it's I'm not really tall. I'm more wide. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I meant to Halucha. I have um, figured out the ranking that Karen gave last week of the subpixel members. She divulged to me. Oh, did she rank? But she didn't tell you what the criteria was. I told her to rank us, but don't yes. tell me what the criteria is. <laughs> I'm gonna play along. What was the ranking? The ranking was yeah. with uh, Kyle, Will, Jake, Ian. I can. Do you want me to tell you what my guess was? I, I, let me. I, is it height? But I think Jake may be taller than me. It's not. Do you want to hear my Jeff? Do you want to hear my guess? Is it by weight? No. Yeah, you go ahead. You go. I was just gonna say my guess was how gay we are. Oh. <laughs> I. Yeah, that's an okay ranking. Um, that's but it, okay it's ranking. not that. <laughs> what is it? I, I said that's exactly how I would rank it. Uh, it was uh, the uh, how bald we are. Oh. Yeah, I think that's fair. She wasn't sure about Jake's uh, quality of hair, but she said yours is so full that you would have to very be. thick hair, very thick right. hair. And I have very thin hair and I'm, it's very thin. So, yeah, I say the ranking. I can't. Up. I'm not sure if Kyle's actually bald or if he just prefers it that way. I think uh, I think it's a little bit of both like preemptive. Because he said, I, I I think he said to Jason has come back to something is something blah, blah, blah. And I wish I could grow hair. 
So Miss alopecia. Can I say something that's questionable? But oh, God. It, honestly, it made me do a double take. All right, so on the way home, I couldn't fly San Diego to Jacksonville direct because it just timing, etc. Um, so I had to fly San Diego to Charlotte. And it was an overnight, so it was a 10 I left San Diego at 10.30 p.m. and I got to Charlotte at like 4.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and then I and then it was Charlotte to Jacksonville. Um, in Charlotte, I was walking through the airport and I saw I saw an albino man. Okay. And he was dressed like like an like a 50-year-old fat white farmer. But I I think he was African American, and it was very confusing to me. <laughs> it was just like it was a lot going on, and I was very confused. Like he had like one of those like orange farmer shirts and like a big belt buckle and like a trucker hat on, and he was like walking through the airport like he was a fat old white racist farmer, and it was just very confusing to me. I was just like thinking about it for like 15 minutes where I was like, what did I just see? So that was a bad time for the weed to kick in. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think... It was just so weird. I was just like, what? what's going on um, here? No, that makes sense. I feel like because it was like clashing stereotypes. Yeah. And then a, 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 a like a duplicate like like the whammy was the the uh, being albino, which just confused everything. Because I I'm think like, what's going on here? Oh God, yeah. What did I just say yes? To? Anyways, what is CW's Black Lightning? I looked that up. Um. Well, I was just gonna say I think you've encountered an anomaly. Uh, which is like those things that float around in Stalker and Metro. And I think it was just one of those that you found. It was one of those. Yeah. A That's why I was just combo. like... I was just like, what? Water Pledge, Fire Pledge. Okay. This kitchen sucks. Is that one burner? Um, I will say a nice thing about the trip. I got a lot of reading done. I finished oh, Prisoner yeah. of Azkaban, um, and I they just got to Hogwarts in uh, a Goblet of Fire. Oh, um, fine. after four, three and a half books, they finally got to Hogwarts. <laughs> no, I, I really appreciate the nice thing about those series is like, it's good and bad, but I think it's mostly good, which is that every single book is structured after a school year. So you kind of oh, know how it. far you are. You know how it's far so you good. are just by where you are. Because because I'm reading it in a, I'm reading it on my Kindle, and the version that I got legally uh, is all seven books in a single file. Yeah. So I know that I know that I'm thirty percent of the way through the Harry Potter series, but I don't. It's one of the things you lose with the Kindle is you can kind of get it, but not really that feeling of like oh I'm halfway through the book, I'm three quarters of the way through the book. You you can kind of do it on the Kindle, but it's. It always feels a little weird, but anyways, yeah. So that like that helps me keep track of where I am in that individual book. Mm, um, pris okay, Prison of Azkaban. Let me state my my preconceived notions of it before I went in. I've read it before, but again, this was when this is like twenty years ago, twenty plus years ago. I feel like people say Prisoner of Azkaban is their favorite. Are they talking about just the movie, or are they talking about the movie and the book? I think just the movie. Okay, because the book. The book was a letdown after the first two. The first two are structured so well, and the third one is just like, oh, it's school year. I guess there's weird things going on. And then all of a sudden it just like does this crazy stuff at the end. And, and the crazy stuff at the end I'm, is, I'm fine with, but the first two are like a mystery being unlaid, laid out throughout the whole year. And then the third one is just like, poop it. Yeah, I, I, I think that's strictly the movie because <clears throat> that movie is really good. Um, yeah. Like the tone, I, I'm excited to watch them. Yeah, I think that's one of the few cases that the the tone of that movie is better than the tone of the book. Gotcha. Like I think, um, who did it? Um, was it Inaratu or was it? Um, no, it was. It wasn't. Uh, uh, it was. It's, I I know who you're talking about. I'll look I can't think of saying. I get him and Inaratu confused all the time. Yes, because that, they have similar. 
uh, hard to pronounce last names, and they're both Qu Mexican. Yeah. Is it Quaron? Qu that Quaron. doesn't sound. Quaron. Right. Yeah. Is that how you say? Is that how you? That's the only reason I confuse them. I used to be so into movies, and then I feel like I just got really upset about fucking Marvel and all the people <laughs> and all the bad Oscars and everything that I just have slowly just like stop paying attention to film culture. Like I still watch movies, but I don't follow it as closely because it's just like you fuckers keep watching the wrong shit. Yeah. Um, hello, Chip. That's I am not completely serious, but I I only confuse them because they're both Mexican directors who won awards and films around the same time. And so I can never yes. remember which one of them. Like I, for the longest time, thought Quaron directed Revenant, but it's Inaratsu who directed Revenant. Yeah. And they make, I don't want to say they're not identical, but like the oh, quality no. and uniqueness of their movies is both similar. And so it's yes. very easy to confuse it's, them back and forth. And yeah. it was just why Del Toro, I don't get confused with them because. Because he's very unique. He's very. That's unique. like saying Tim Burton and Christopher Nolan, you would get confused. Yeah, huge difference. Uh, what do you want me to do? Pokemon that knows rock. Whereas smash. like Ridley Scott and Spielberg, you can and you can get those confused. Yeah, if you're not white. <sighs> um. Also, I got sick on the way. Oh no! But I'm it's sorry. not COVID because I'm not a pussy. Good. So. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Ugh. Does he have rocks? Now? It's hot in here. Oh, I can't. I have to take my clothes off. Nice. <laughs> take my clothes. Off. Anyways, this is uh, this is a place called Driftvale City. You on the last stream you went through Nimbasa City and Driftvale City. What do you think they represent in the in the real world? Um, Nimbasa was Manhattan, right? Uh, no, that was Castilia oh. City. Oh, it was Castilia. So that last one I was just at felt like Coney Island. Nimbasa the last, City, the one with the amusement park. Oh yeah, you know what? I could kind of see that. I think yeah, this is the easy way. So even though it's kind of where Hoboken is. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. It feels more like it's like, I don't want to say Central Park, almost like Times Square in a way. Yeah, 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 that's a better comparison. And and this one is Hoboken. Hoboken slash Jersey City, where you're at right now, because yeah, of the I market. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I, I really like that they base these on real life locations, but they take a huge amount of liberties. Like, that's so much better than them trying to be, like, super accurate Yeah. with it. Sorry, I just like to talk to everyone. Oh, it's fine. I don't to do it. Want me to show my feet? <laughs> For free? For free? Oh, there, there she is. Okay, look. I don't know if you have come across that lady yet, Carmen, Carmen San Diego, in battle. But she has one of the thirstiest poses I have ever seen. Really? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do it for the fans. I'm going to change your card into that so we can look at Thirsty San Diego together. Oh, yeah. I'm in. I'm in, I'm in. Yes. Look, folks, I'm just going to say, if you're a fan of thighs, hand check. You're in for a All surprise. Right. Look at these fat fucks. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. I forgot they do, like, triple battles in this. Your um, your noise suppression when you get a good laugh, it sounds like your head's been dunked underwater for about two seconds. It's pretty great. And that, that's why I turned it off. But then the problem was, I have zero noise <laughs> suppression. I mean, I have yeah. noise suppression on my side, for you. So like when you're typing and stuff, I don't think okay, it normally good. comes through. Okay, then I'm gonna take it off then. I'm take my clothes. Hi, off. Karen. Hi. What's wrong? Why? Because the box is full and had a bunch of stuff. It didn't, wasn't full and didn't have a the bunch of stuff. The box is completely dim. I was struggling to rearrange stuff. Wait, there wasn't one in there? Yeah. Oh, I thought there was one still in there. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, good so excuse, mad. Will. You fucking idiot. I was saving it for you. Anyways, My everybody low? look at uh, Thirsty San Diego. God. Well, are you looking at Thirsty San Diego? Oh, sorry. Oh my god. 
Right? She she's clenching. Wow. It's like Hello she says hi! I'm gonna look up I'm just gonna go sorry real quick. Control shift and Oh no, that was the wrong person. Oh, good, I'm gonna put it on my other monitor in okay. case you guys don't see the reflection. What do you what do you think that trainer's name is? Baskelin Krokrokstrika. They changed the Pokemon trainer card. You used to be able to hover over it and it would tell you what like what it's from or like what their name is, but now they changed it so you can't see that. I'm gonna go with Pokemon Trainer Red Hat. Oh, Mr. DeVito died. Uh, nope, that's Red Rocket. Okay. Pokemon Carmen. Okay, I already. Pokemon Carmen San Diego. Fun fact, uh, she's actually from LA. Sorry, apologies, folks. I'm trying to find some Rule 34 here. Pokemon Ranger F. Pokemon Ranger. You know, honestly, I'm not seeing it. Okay, let me look. Po Pokemon Ranger. Folks, I'm deep diving over here. This is an investigation. I think it's I think it's Ranger. Okay, yeah, Why I see it. Okay. I'm so confused as to what is happening right now. Okay, Pokemon Ranger. Oh no. I took down rule 34. They're having a 500 internal server error. Yeah, I'm sure it was you. Pokemon. You got the name. You got the name. I'm getting, I'm getting very close, but I'm not seeing the specific Carmen San Diego variant that I'm looking for. Oh, a little bit. I guess it does exist out there, but you know what? It's not as juicy as you'd like it to be. Anyways. How's it going, baby boy? You doing okay over there? I'm draining the life energy out of this crocodile. A crocodile. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just got a thousand XP! <laughs> nice. What? what level is he gonna be? Oh, I guess he only went up one. Who's your control, favorite Pokemon like... so far in your party? Um. Uh... I like Schnitzel a whole lot. I don't know. I always thought it was a little bit of a lazy design. The Blitzel? Yeah, it's just a zebra. Yeah, but it's electric. <laughs> it's not terrible, I just... Oh, you let's look up me. the Nintendo. Um, I feel like there were some other hot takes I had about the Nintendo Direct. Well, not necessarily hot takes, but... Oh, yeah, what'd you think of the Tears of the Kingdom? You know, honestly, I didn't watch the trailer yet. I just saw the screenshots. Oh, well. I, it looks like... Okay, there's two things that worry me about Breath of the Wild 2. Tears of the Kingdom. Number one, I have to play that on a Switch Pro. I'm dreading having to play that on a normal Switch. Because even Breath of the Wild had some chunky parts to it. Mm -hmm. um, number two is I it looks like a, it looks kind of it looks kind of dark, honestly. Like, I'm not that crazy about the art style. I don't think it's that different from Breath of the Wild, but just from the stuff that I saw, it looked a bit the cloud stuff. No, no, maybe not. You know what? I take that back now that I'm watching the video. It looks OK. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. I'm excited for it. Yeah, me too. They, um, I was, the, uh, Max at work 
does um, Zelda breakdown stuff. So his video on the GameSpot YouTube channel is actually really good. Um, Cause he had like, he was showing off some of the places um, or like some of the references you would get and what you might be able to do with these moves and like the reasons things are happening. And like, yeah. like to the point where he was like, hey, Link is doing a backflip in this trailer, but it's not triggering a flurry attack. So I wonder if that's a different type of like, oh, yeah, different that type kind of attack stuff, or yeah, which was really neat. Um, and then I saw I forget if it was him or someone else who pointed out like people lined up the maps because it's the same map uh, yeah. with above and people think there's also in the below and then trying to figure out what's changed on the ground since the terrain is the same. Oh, uh, and I gotcha. thought that was pretty interesting. Fire low engage looks pretty good. Uh, Fatal Frame. That could be a cool spooky pixel next year. Yeah. When does it come out? Uh, it, it says next year. Next year. Gotcha. According to this Polygon article next year. Front Mission. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I love mechs, but I hate mech games. Uh, okay. Octopath Traveler 2. Uh, I don't know. I probably won't play that game. If anything, I would play Live, a Live Alive. Or Live Alive oh, first. Oh, Live Alive. They pronounced it in one of the... One of the I think it was in the direct. Live Alive? Live Alive. That's not bad. There were multiple ways to take it, and that that's not bad. Uh, I don't have it with me, sorry. Fay Farm, the little cutesy one, like the chibi farming one, I think it looks a little bit too cute. Shell Bell. For me. Uh, Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm. I don't know. Is that a, is that is that is that good? It looked neat. If I'm not like Final Fantasy music is good, I don't have any nostalgia for it, nor do I want to play it in a game. <laughs> is it just a rhythm game with like battle scenes behind it, or is there actually like some cool RPG battle I elements to it? I can't remember if that was the game that looked like an idle game or if it was something else. No, this is the one where there's like a stage and then there's like a rhythm and it's going left to right. Oh, maybe I'm thinking something else then. Yeah, I'm, I'm not but sure. The, but, but there's like a party behind it. Gotcha. Uh, sorry, I think my camera just rebooted. I don't did. know why. I was wondering. And you, then you weren't talking, so I didn't know if you were completely disconnected or uh, something went horribly wrong. Let me check. Ooh. Daddy's back. I don't know. I don't know if my video is back on stream on Mac. Oh yeah, you're good. Thank you, right <laughs> okay. back. Um. Day life. Mario Plus Rabbids. Strong game of the year contender. Uh, the Nintendo 64 games. Pretty cool. Yes, I was very excited about that. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. Mario Party 1 through 3. GoldenEye, but honestly, uh, fuck that. I'm more excited for the Xbox version of GoldenEye. That'll be awesome. Yeah, except for no online multiplayer. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't want to play with the okay original with that controls. Too, yeah. But it, um, it's, su it's the weirdest thing. Factorio on Switch. Which, look, I love Factorio. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it being a Switch game, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I would. It'll totally play work. It I just, I want to sit at a PC and play that, you know? Yeah. And I'd be more apt to play it on a Steam Deck with possible touch controls or like or touchpad controls. I don't know. I think the problem with me is the screen size. You know? Yeah, that's it's, true. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah, this showed like two map. That'll be fun. We're going to play some of that for Extra Life. I, I get that for free, right? Because I'm... Are you an expansion pack member? Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion. See, that's the thing is, I think I am, but also I lost my password to my Nintendo. And also, 
I feel like I've talked about this before, but we got time, so I'll bitch about it real quick. I had Google multi-factor authentication installed on my phone. And I had that tied to my Nintendo account. I then got rid of my phone, replaced it with a different one, installed Google multi-factor authentication. And guess what? Fuck you. It's not actually tied to your Google account. It's tied to your specific phone. <laughs> so, which just sucks because it means I don't have MFA for Nintendo now and I can't log into it. And I think the last time I went down the path to try and log into my Nintendo account, I basically got to a point where they were like, you're going to have to contact customer service and prove that it's you. And I was like, that's not worth it. So I am definitely signed up for Nintendo Switch Online and it just keeps renewing, but I don't know which one I have. Nice. So I don't know. Well, if you want to get Anyways, on a family plan, let me know. I, you know, I have a family plan with Mackie, oh. but she doesn't use it anymore. So maybe I'll switch yeah. to yours. Yeah, I think we have room. Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. I I wish I was more excited about that game, but since I have a working Wii, I don't really feel the need to get the Switch version. Uh, Pikmin 4. I don't know. I was never that crazy about Pikmin, so like, good for you, but I'm not. I'm not crazy about it, so. Karen's been yeah. playing it, and I think I want to play it. I Just have... dance. Now we're talking. Now yeah. we're back. I wish I was excited about it. I just think it's like vacuuming. It's one of those gameplay mechanics that I would probably not enjoy. What? Which game? Pikmin. Having There's to no be like... Pikmin. Well, no. Like vacuuming mechanics where I hate vacuuming in video games. I think I would hate oh. the mechanic of Pikmin where you're like directing people and throwing them and doing all that. I think I would hate that. Bayonetta 3, I tried to play Bayonetta 2, nothing against it. It's just not my type of game, but it was it was cool. So uh oh, Sifu's coming for the Switch. That's cool. Wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna turn this fan on. Uh Kirby's return to Dreamland Deluxe. Oh, that's better. Nope. Not a bad direct, but at the same time, kind of meh, to be honest with you. A lot of farming games, as Twitter liked to point out. Lego Brick Tales. Is that the, the Lego puzzle game? Yeah, I yes. think it was the one that was on Apple Arcade. Uh, you probably. Oh, yeah, actually, this Karen, says, this I set up my GameCube so Karen could play Pikmin, and then I was going to play on the Wii U, but I um, only had the Wii version installed, and I did not want to play that one. So. Is that drastically different from the Wii U version? Uh, n n so there's only a Wii and GameCube version, and the Wii one, you have to use motion controls, and I did not want to do that. Oh my god. William Yosef, it's Christmas. I'm, I'm looking at this. Do you know what Lego Brick Tales is? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about this? What? Is it like crazy? It's... How do I put this? It's like scrap mechanic, but with Legos. And third person, like mostly isometric. So they're like, oh, I need to get up there. Well, here's parts to build a helicopter, but we're not going to give you instructions. And then you have to put it together and try and and, and see how it works. That. Oh, fuck. Now I'm into this game. You know, where they're like, hey, you need to build an excavator and get across this gap. Here's here's the parts you need, but we're not going to tell you how to build it. That's. Fuck, that's cool. Sorry, I, I bid on a, um, a GameCube on Goodwill, and I'm still winning. Ooh, how much are you paying? Uh, I put, it's at 108 right now, I put 125, but it is a GameCube with two controllers and a copy of Smash Brothers Melee, which is probably the most expensive like thing in the That's like $60 right there, yeah. <laughs> so I was That's like, good. oh, I'll just bet on this. Like, I already own a copy, but I will sell one for profit or give one. I, I definitely want to get a GameCube at some point. I, um, I think I have a second GameCube, but it 
I might have given it away, but I want to mod one of my game cubes to have the uh, GC loader SD card. Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to do it to my main one, so. Figure get one. Just do it to the main one. Oh, but you have a lot of GameCube games. So. Yeah, that, that 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 is the only reason is I would lose the ability to play discs, um, which yes. is okay. But yeah, I just it's part of my continuing pursuit to try and have one of every major console, even though I play each of them for maybe an hour total. So yeah, Karen, I brought the Trinitron out, put it on the table, and she's been just sitting across from it playing. It's been working out pretty well. Uh, Good for her. I really want to, like, eventually when I have room, set up a TV with the consoles. So, like, if I want to play, like, a, a JRPG uh, or something. Oh, this, the, the set up a CRT? Yeah. I just, me personally, I don't, I don't give a shit. Just, if it really annoys me, then I'll throw a scan lens filter and I don't care. I don't need no CRT. Oh, um, yeah. I wouldn't pay out the ass. I paid 20 bucks for the one I have. Speaking of 20 bucks, just while I'm thinking, look what I got. Ready? They're Samsung 128 gigabyte micro SD endurance cards, Ooh. which are like the full spec, but also endurance. Guess how much I got two of them. Guess how much I paid for these? Fifteen dollars. Very close. Seventeen dollars each. Ooh. I just saw like a Wario 64 sale the other day. So this is going to go. Actually, I don't even know if my GoPro takes 128, but like. Like I was looking up how to how to crack the PlayStation Classic, and they're like you can you you throw one of these in there, and if you have it big enough, then you can put the whole PlayStation One library in there. Same. Oh, this um, is gonna be a good farming spot. I I am continuously fighting the urge to do the wall arcade, the DIY wall, wall arcade. I I almost bought the arcade the Simpsons arcade machine that was on sale because it's too, pretty yeah. easy to mod it. Um, but I said it's just no. too yeah. It's just it's just for me. I it's just too big, and I just really like the wall size. I I, I tell you, I saw one in the Paris airport. They just had it set up, and it was one of the one up ones, one up the wall, one up ones. And it's so small, but still like a like a thirty inch screen on it. And then I um I was googling some of them, and there's some company that makes really nice ones for like fifteen hundred dollars. Like they're way too expensive, but the way they did the design, it looks like a piece of art on the wall almost. Like it's not the stereotypical Ooh. arcade where it has like where it has like the sandwich sides with like the rounded edge. Like yeah. theirs looks very sleek and nice. So I'm like, man, I could I could really design one that looks really nice on the wall and has like a two player really good button set up and then a Raspberry Pi inside and just run a whole bunch of shit off of it. So I'm constantly fighting the urge to do that because that project would probably cost me. I don't know. What do you think? Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi plus decent SD or even external USB plus. Let's say that puts that's that's about 100 right there. Right. Mm -hmm. Minimum. Let's say I go all out on sticks and buttons, and that puts me at another 100. So that's 200. I want a decent screen. That's another 200. That puts me at 400. Let's just throw 50 bucks on top of that for, like, various wires, connectors, etc. So that's 450. And then plus the wood, I can do it out of, like, one sheet of really nice wood plus some other stuff. I'm probably looking at $550, $600. It's not bad. It's tempting. It's tempting. <laughs> I think the good news is it's summer in Florida, so there's absolutely no way I'm starting a project like that right now because I would die if I have to stay in the garage for more than 30 minutes at a time. Wow. It's hot. I realize you're such a baby. It's building that lumber rack, man. It literally, this is not an exaggeration. If you are outside for more than 15 minutes in Florida right now, you have to take a shower, period. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You could just be standing there. You could be you shitting yourself. You have to take a shower. <laughs> you have to take, you a will shower. Have to take a shower. <laughs> Especially if you're shitting yourself. Yeah. So we talked about this like a month or so ago about how I need to switch my conception of seasons. Summer is not for outdoor stuff anymore. Summer is now summer is now for indoor stuff. And winter is for outdoor stuff because in the summer it's too hot to go outside in the winter. 
it's perfect to go outside versus the opposite in the north where it's like do all your outdoor stuff in the summer and hole up inside in the winter because of the cold so mm -hmm. i gotta so i've been working on models trying to finish stuff off doing some 3d printing i finished half your death stranding cuffs i saw those i think it turned out pretty good but um i need to do the other half which is the more complicated one with the leds yeah. I, I have literally out, yeah. had zero time to do anything. I've been so busy with work stuff. TGS was the past week and everything. Yeah. Um, so I was doing all that. And then <clears throat> outside of that, just like, just don't have... In my free time, it's like, I why don't I go to bed early? Yeah, or yeah. sit on the couch. No, I mean, there's... Like, I, I put the cuffs down for like two, three months. I'm just I'm just happy to have a project that is not just me dicking around and is actually like a, not that is a challenge for me to do and is exercising like all of my skills. So it's turning out pretty nicely. Uh, Hulu, which I moved. I moved a year ago, pretty much exactly a year ago. So I've been down here a year now. Dang. Um, I love this music. Yeah. So the other half of the cufflinks. There's, there's three things that I want to do that are going to be complicated. It, well, it's three things together that make it complicated. Number one is I want it to have functioning lights. Mm -hmm. It needs to have at least a decent life off of a removable battery. Um, I was thinking about rechargeable, but I, I would rather not do rechargeable because I'm thinking if you're doing a long day of convention, it's easier to swap the battery. Number three, it's got to have a switch on it too. So you can switch it in and out. So those three requirements combined with the form factor and size of the Death Stranding cufflinks, where the, the larger one has like boxes attached to it, but they're two separate boxes. Mm. That's making it complicated. It's doable. I've seen other people do it, but it, it's I'm trying to like figure out, OK, what are the right LEDs to use? What's the right battery to use? And then once I have those identified, then I got to build the model, the 3D model around that. So. Yeah. It's doable. Pee-pee up! Pee-pee! Get that pee-pee up. I'm excited. I haven't done... you ever done any, like, LED? Like, custom LED work? I've, I've never done that. Uh, just in uh, my Blade Runner PKD, and it was an absolute mess. Because uh, I was trying to get Ooh. it done on a deadline. Uh, it is a glob of... LEDs soldered together with crap wires, and it just... <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'd electrocute yourself on it if there was enough current going through it. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I need to switch it. I need to buy a switch for it. I need to remove everything. I might re-3D print the piece. Uh, <laughs> and then move... Uh, and repaint it and stuff. Because it's supposed to be you flip the switch, and then the battery pack can come out, and when the battery pack goes in... Like the batteries in that, so it. Yeah. It, oh um, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. The problem is it's supposed to carry the circuit through the neodymium magnets. Yeah. But the oh. ones I work weren't really strong enough for it, so I think I need to s change it. Huh. Um, it's like a good idea, but I think the ones I bought either don't hold, don't uh, have good, or have too much resistance. <laughs> I guess is the term. I wonder. I wonder or, uh, if that only works if you have them one way versus the other. That was the other thing. Is putting that together, I had to keep triple checking the polarity. Yeah. Of the magnets. For the handful of three D printed boxes that I've done, I like to have them closed, not with a clasp, but with magnets. That was always the thing. Was like super gluing with magnets that want to stick to everything, but you've got to keep the orientation right. Yeah. Oh, I love these puzzles. I, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're going the wrong way. That's that's the the exit. Uh, oh. Wait, is there a thing over there? Yeah, there is. Scald. Chips challenge. You ever play Chips Challenge? I think so. That's where you try to get the most is. salsa. Do you want another shot at that? That's where you what, fuck the most bros. <laughs> <laughs> Name chip. Name uh, chip. It was like an overhead grid-based 
like semi-platformer, but also puzzler. It was like for Windows 95, Windows 98. My family was obsessed with it. Oh, there was like yes. 150 levels. You know what I was thinking of was, was uh, Commander Keen. That's what I was thinking of. Which is uh, Activision. Who made Commander Keen? Uh, no, it, Someone it's um, weird. Bethesda. It belongs to Bethesda now. So I think it was under id. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, because wasn't it wasn't Commander Keen Romero trying to emulate Mario on the PC? The smooth Maybe. side scrolling. I kinda remember that from what is it, Monsters of Masters of Mars? Please, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't Looks like you died. Yeah, the fucking piece of shit Dookie died. Oh, so the other thing, the other thing I'm trying to figure out with the LEDs on the Death Stranding cufflink is, if you remember, it's like a, they're like bands, so it's like a screen, right? You know, like an inch by three inch screen. And I'm, I'm just going to use a piece of like clear plastic and I'll probably use vinyl on top of that to mm -hmm. like emulate text and then have light underneath it. But the problem is I need to, def I, I either need to use dot LEDs and have them diffuse somehow into that. Otherwise, it's just going to look like three lights behind the screen. You know, it's not going to clearly light the screen. And then the other option is to do edge lighting, where you put the LED against the edge of the, the acrylic and then it shines through the, through it. But I don't think I have enough room for that because it's but so what, tight. What if you had one LED and then a uh, clear 3D printed thing to diffuse the light all the way through it? Ooh, I mean, I hear you, but then I'd have to print a clear 3D... But not clear. It could be, it could be uh, like just white. Not white. You know what I mean. But the clear. It's not clear to see through. It's foggy, but it's that clear resin. Yeah, maybe. But the problem is like, the box is basically the same size as the screen, so I can't really have it off to the side. It has to be directly under the screen. So, I'm not sure. Those are the problems I kind of have to solve before I actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna 3D model it to roughly scale and get all of it working without any electronics. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come back and carve out holes in the 3D model for the electronics that I need. That's smart. Yeah, because the other thing is this side's gonna look a lot more different than the original because I'm still using the cuff, the handcuffs that I'm using are basically two piece. And I think in the game, it's like a three-piece semicircle, and it's like I have to basically map a completely different design onto my existing cufflinks, and it's going to be a little wonky getting those to work and line up right. Oh, well, I'll get it working. I believe in you. It's a good project. It's kind of what I've always wanted to do, where instead of me just dicking around with random models, it's like I have a goal, and it feels like it's for a purpose because it's for somebody, you know? Yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm a purpose for you? It's kind of nice. I used this, I used the gunmetal, to me a gunmetal paint, and it went on so well that I didn't have to weather the model at all. <laughs> like, 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 it, like, I was worried it'd be like too flat of a color and then I have to come back and like add highlights and shadows and mm -hmm. stuff and weather it. And it just, it looks like speckled metal. It's perfect. It's incredible. I love having an airbrush and to me a paint. I feel like by the time we both finish that costume, it'll be Death Stranding. Two. No, oh, like Death Stranding will have happened. Yeah, it's a funny joke. What do you think Kojima's next thing is? I, I'd, I'd ask you to wait until Chase Kojima, but that show's dead, so. Did you find the time to do that? It's not me, man. <laughs> um, I, I think it is Eli Fanning. Ellie Fanning? Or whatever. Is that, a, is that? I think it's one of those names where even if it is pronounced Ellie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying, saying Eli. Okay. <laughs> This makes me feel better. Because you're in the um. <laughs> um, probably. 
I don't know. I feel like he should do Death Stranding too. Is that crazy? What if he did it in Europe? What if he did Death Stranding 2 in Europe? I can see it. I, um... I, I kind of want to time jump. I want it to be BB, and he's grown up and you're playing as him. And, and the whole thing about, like, what do they call it? The event or whatever? Like, it wasn't canceled, it was just postponed. So maybe that comes back. Maybe you're playing as BB and throughout the course of the game you realize that you are the you are the new entity. Don't worry, you'll get it, buddy. I believe in you. No, I, w I only did that first initial one because I was trying to see if there was something in this bottom corner before I finished the puzzle. Oh, it's, it's fair. I'm being an asshole. Pokemon. But I don't. I just feel like you can't do America again with Death Stranding. Maybe it's maybe it's north to south. Surprise again. North to south. Because I feel like like we talked about that really did feel like a proof of concept game, and it was fleshed out enough with a lot of good story oomph in it so that you could totally just continue that. Yeah, I think so. Tired. You Did you beat tired? the game yet? Did you beat the game yeah, yet? I, I just finished it, actually. Can you believe that? Fuck, thank fuck. Are we gonna do Pokewell Season 3, or is this worn off? Uh, I think it's fun to play Pokemon while having a chat. So... Oh. I think the, like, exciting me discovering things has worn off a little bit. But yeah. I would just play Pokemon games on stream. Like, I don't think you would have to have played it beforehand and all that stuff, you know? I just find it hard to concentrate on somebody playing Pokemon. That's fine. You know what I mean? Nothing against Pokemon. It's fun to play, but watching somebody play it is... Uh... Break break. Break break. Hey. That was a little rude. What else is good against oh. fighting? Flying. And psychic. What are you sending to me? How did we forget this? We were talking about this before the stream. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yeah, how did we forget how that theme song goes? I was joking. The world is Carmen San Diego. That's good stuff. Where in the world is Carmen Car Oh, you know what we could talk about? You know what I watched last night? What'd you watch last night? I watched a movie called Rogan. Um, I'd seen it before, but I felt like I needed to watch it again because Andor is coming out soon. Um, oh, Rogue One. <laughs> and so when that movie came out in theaters, I went and saw it and I was like, eh, it's okay. And I feel like that was a misjudgment and and people were talking about it a lot and seeing how much worse the other recent Star Wars movies were I was like I should really go back and rewatch it so I went back and I rewatched it last night and I was right folks it's okay <laughs> I was right I just like that movie has such good like concepts and ideas in it but it just does not want to tell a story like what I mean by that is like Every scene is just like very quick 
like the beginning is very, very quick. And they're just like, look at this place. Look at this guy. Look at this place. Look at this guy. He's cool guy. Look at this place. This guy's blind. Look at this place. Like it doesn't spend enough time with character development outside of the two main characters. And I feel like that's a shame. And yeah. then I think the action sequences were like semi generic up until the end. Like the end's very good. It's a bit long, but the end's very good. But it's also by that point you're like an hour and a half into the movie, and you're just like, I'm, uh, I'm done with this. I think, I think Ben Mendelsohn knocks it out of the park. Hundred and ten percent. He's great. So good. Guy playing Andor's fantastic. He's even better in Narcos Mexico. Oh my god, he's incredible in it. Uh, even uh, the main female's pretty good at it, especially yeah, she's she's kid. Good. It's, um, it, it's just like the movie's moving. It's too much of an action movie, honestly. I think that's the problem. It's too much of an action movie, so it's trying to get to the next action when it's like, no, calm the fuck down and spend some time with these characters, you know? Yeah. The, uh... <laughs> the... I think the K2SO and Andor relationship is done better than C-3PO. Oh, ha C-3PO is a piece of shit. Look, I'm gonna say it. C-3PO and Jar Jar are the same, and Jar Jar's better. C-3PO is just a annoying fuckwad but yeah k2so is fantastic see Very i don't good. agree i think it goes k2so c3po then jar jar as far as annoyance but i see what i we agree on the concept i uh, i think the only annoying thing about k2so was that it felt the the jokes and the wit felt a bit too overwritten you know, kind of like how Joss Whedon gets. It's like a bit too overwritten, but it was yeah. still very funny and I was enjoying it. Mostly because of, that's Alan Tudyk, right? Tudyk. He's doing that. Tudyk. His delivery is fantastic. Very good delivery. Yeah. He's a really, he's a great actor. Yeah. So it's one of those things where I, I think I'm optimistic for Andor just because I completely Stone unwarranted. Stars. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think unwarranted. I'm like, oh, if Rogue One, I'm sorry, if Rogue One was just a series instead of a movie, the exact same storyline, but you just spread it out more, it'd be incredible, right? You get so mm -hmm. much time, which eat, there's so many good characters. I want more time with them. I want more development and not just another generic action scene. Yeah. Um, so that's, there's like very, as far as I know, there's very little through line from Rogue One to Andor, like, Pretty sure it's different writer, director, story, story, screenwriter, etc. So I'm not sure that it will have that quality, but in my head, I'm like, yeah, sure, take Ro Rogan, stretch it out into a series, and it would make it much better. So that's yeah. kind of my hope with Andor. Plus, I like Book of Boba Fett, and I like I like, like espionage, Star Wars yeah. stuff. Because so many of the old games were like that too, and, and to grit, an extent the and original area Star Wars. You go, you go ahead. I was gonna say, and also uh, the original gonna... Star Wars. <laughs> no, really, you go ahead, and then I'll deal with what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not gonna do it again. That's for chumps. I was just gonna say that the original trilogy is very much like a heist movie rebel yes. against the big man and that's the thing I think in the sequel trilogy and the prequel trilogy they weren't the underdogs they were the defenders well, even though sequel trilogy no, they, they were, were the underdogs but they were trying to make them a, the underdogs by just they, kneecapping them constantly and somehow yeah. Palpatine has returned uh, yeah anyway just, you go uh, I was going to say, and the moral, the moral grayness of it, you know, like I realized I don't really like Force and Jedi because it's like we are the moral absolute good when I feel like mm -hmm. the better parts of Star Wars are when they're like, no, this is a fucking like, this is like a sci-fi dystopia that is in the future. There's more tech, but everything's grungy and people are just trying to get by and like you're bringing hope in this shit. What the f like, even even when you think you're on the moral high ground, you are going to do some dirty stuff. And that, yeah. I like that feels um I think it tells that really well with um Cassian just shooting the contact after getting the yes. stuff from him. That um, shocked me when I saw it. And I, I don't like that only because I don't think they treated it with enough serious. They gave like two seconds of him just being like and then it, and then it moved on from there, and I was like, yeah. "Spend some fucking time with these characters." Yeah, like in con it's and again, that's because the beginning is so rushed. 
Like you gave it yes. breathing room like a TV show. Yes. Um, I think you can hit those yeah. points a lot better. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it could be good, but really you should just watch Narcos. Narcos is so good. I should it's, watch inc Narcos. it's incredible. Um, both Narcos and Narcos Mexico. He's in he's in Mexico, but you've got to watch Narcos first. They're both say, oh, fantastic. Um, we watched is someone in there. Why did he ask me? I haven't fucking been in there yet, you idiot. Because the story point. Uh, we watched Young Frankenstein the other night. Um, cause I was, oh, the Mel Brooks. The Mel Brooks. And you know what? That movie holds up really well. Um, Walk this way. <laughs> yeah, all the jokes are still funny. Um, I was actually reading up on it how they filmed twice as much stuff and cut it to all the good jokes and like yeah. burned the film of the rest of it so it was never like could never get tainted that's um, good because and knowing I, that i was watching a couple scenes where you can see another character about to say another joke and they cut yeah um and i'm like oh that's like i think that's a great example of how good editing of a movie yeah can uh, yes can work the only problem with that movie uh the only thing that didn't translate very well was there was a scene that was quite rapey in which in the classic it's not like a rape scene but in the classic way where it's like this man's coming on to me i don't want it oh i turn into wanting it like oh yeah. it's so good i love it now like that kind of scene so like i hesitate yeah. to use the hard r but it is essentially that um okay. and that was the only part of the movie yeah, yeah, that i was kind of like oh, this does not not yeah. translate well um but other than that that movie's fucking hilarious Mel Brooks is great. That and Blazing Saddles I watched a lot when I was a kid. Blazing Saddles is holds up really well as well. I mean, it's other than the things incredible. it doesn't hold up with, but... Uh, but even then, like, the amount of times it says the N-word, like, but it's fine. I don't fine. even think it's that's fine. not a problem <laughs> because that's part of the joke oh, yeah, of yeah. the movie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's like, you're talking about, like, the period-specific ones when it was, like, wasn't it, like, Burt Baccarat? <laughs> and then like he's like screw you i'm working for mel brooks yeah like there's some like period specific stuff that doesn't yeah. play as much anymore uh yeah, it was still <laughs> yeah there's a lot of like in hollywood jokes that just don't work anymore <laughs> yeah studio system and all that yeah yeah but still a great movie. great movie keep reading that as street fart <laughs> i should have named him street fart <laughs> that's so good street fart. i finally uh am using the analog pocket to its full potential where i have it docked using a nintendo switch controller and playing it on my 4k tv Oh, I saw. Was it the SNES Core that they released recently? Um, I don't know. I, I need to check on that. I downloaded a couple FPGA cores, and they work. Um, but I was like, I had only done the Game Boy and Game Boy uh, Color ones, but I switched between my Game Boys, so that doesn't really help me with that stuff. Yeah. So I need to check out whatever's new. Oh, you know what? I was just thinking. The Analog Pocket has Wi-Fi, right? Uh, yes be great if somebody did yes. cloud saves with it as in like there is a folder somewhere that is constantly backing up your saves and save states too it might not i'll look it up wi-fi i'll look it up it. wi-fi chips are so cheap i would be surprised if it doesn't because the way to update it is to put the update on the sd card so that tells me i don't think it does oh he got me Quiver dance, oh my god. Oh my god. You can't call it that. Oh my god. You can't call it that. Lightly performs a beautiful mystic dance. It, no, I don't want this. Oh my god. He me.
Damn, I can't believe that the analog pocket screen is 1600 by 1440. Three and a half <laughs> inch, 1600 by 1440 screen. That's bonkers. I, on my TV, I can change it between analog pocket, Game Boy uh, Advance, and Game Boy SP 101. It is yeah. so crazy. And I can. The other thing about that is that you can adjust like every print, like saturation, sizing, like all that crap. Uh, Are you playing that stuff? It's great. You're playing Fire Emblem on it? Yeah. So it looks great uh, handheld and it looks fantastic on the 4K TV. Uh, my only issue right now is I have to reconnect the uh, Switch controller every time I boot it up. And I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, you're right. I don't think it has Wi-Fi. Wait, am I just fighting all of these guys? Daddy poopy, daddy poopy. Excuse me? What? What'd you say? What? One of my new songs. Daddy poopy. That's my problem. <laughs> Halucha, you're still here. You left a while ago, I think. Halucha's <laughs> gone. Bye, Halucha. Bye, Halucha. Rip. Have a good day. Rest in peace. Welcome back in the VOD. Glad you're here. I'm gonna flame charge this bitch. Oh, Schnitzel's asleep. Never mind, I'm not gonna flame charge this bitch. <sighs> oh, I just realized his eye is closed. Schnitzel's her eye. God, you know what I'm getting very excited for? Uh, what? Hogwarts Legacy. I can't fucking wait to play that oh, game. I'm the more I'm reading Harry Potter. And they keep showing it, and I, I remember I was not a fan of the first showing of it because I didn't like the style. I thought it should be more cartoony, but now I'm kind of okay with it. And... Fuck. What it, okay, I, I really hope they don't let you pick your house. I really want them to do sorting hat, like a quiz or something, yeah. and they need a sorting hat your shit. Who do you think who do you think you are? I so part of me wonders if they because that aspect's so good, so I can see them having an option to override so you can choose whatever you want. But I want the sorting hat. Yeah. I want them to have reached out to like Pottermore or something and be like, hey, yeah. we want to use the way you do it to put it in our game. I I I think I'd be Gryffindor. That's what I got on, on the me, quizzes me, I take. So. Let me describe the houses. <laughs> Hogwarts houses. Description.com. Okay. Oh, I found like multiple fucking paragraphs, but that's not what I want. Okay, here we go. Uh, Gryffindor is, they, they consider them like brave. Slytherin is, uh... Sexy. Ambitious, shrewd, destined for greatness. Ravenclaw is for brainiest. Like you're studying, etc. Hufflepuff is for trustworthy and hardworking. So I think, I think I would either be Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. I'm leaning towards Ravenclaw. Just think about what I was in school. I was, I was in the honors classes. That's what I cared about was trying to be smart, so I think I would be Ravenclaw. Slytherin Nerd. is like the business dudes. Like like Slytherin is where like the business and salespeople go. You know. Are you done yet? Uh what type is Trubbish? Uh let me look it up. Trubbish? You know, so you can be helpful. Yeah. Uh, he is weak to psychic and ground. He is poison. He's poison. You know, based on my behavior tonight, I feel like you should probably get somebody else for Tuesday. <laughs> Jeez. I this think guy. I, just, I think I'm just done. Yeah, I'll just stop streaming it. Um, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go get more Kleenex, because you know it's brandy. Too much cocaine. You like the other thing? No, you don't. Ow. 
rude. Take that. Just heal my Pokemon. Why can't that just use the item? Oh no! PP is already up. Let me pick it up first. Hi! Hi, you're back! You know what I could do right now? As I keep forgetting, I need to buy your... Fucking okay. Well, Present gifts. Uh, prize. Prize. That's right. Okay. HollyExpress.com. Pokemon. HollyExpress.com. Pokemon. <laughs> Nobody survived Giga Drain. Oh, I drain God. you. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you fucking imagine? Who was your starter? Uh, Oshawott. Oh, I mean, in, sorry, in the previous one. Uh, Squirtle named Charmander. Oh, that's right. so stupid, I may have to get that for you. I just don't know how tall it is. Oh look, Cowboy's here. Hi, Audi. God, I I'm gonna send you a picture of this. I'm not gonna get it for you, but it's so tempting. It just looks is like it it's the rule 34 quality. of the thick thighs? No, it's, it's either Squirtle, Charmander, or Pikachu. Or uh, Bulbasaur, but they're they're just big muscle men, and they're like lifting oh weights. Oh my gosh! I would fuck all of these men. <laughs> Look at <laughs> them. But the problem is, the more I zoom in on it, it's only like seven inches tall, and they're not good quality. <laughs> it's like they took action figures. They took a muscly boy action figure and a head from a Pokemon action figure and put them together. It's it's in, it's very funny. I just wish it was more well done. That's oh, did awesome. you see the um the who's the fish? Uh, Magikarp. It's a Magikarp one. He's so good. Oh my Pikachu. god. Pikachu. Oh my goodness. I like the Bulbasaur only because he's on like an elliptical, and I think yeah. that's really funny. You guys ain't so bad. Come on, challenge me at the gym. This AliExpress video is banging music. Never mail dice. Never mail dice. Yeah, the um, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, the, the story's been really good. Surprisingly, like I'm really into it. Um, so it's been fun. I'm, uh, I'm itching. I'm to just really more. proud of you. That's all. I should stream yeah. it some more, or I should stream it some. Oh, I'm really into this music. This is like makes me think uh, of like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, sort of, or like. Yeah. Oh. Give me that pee pee. Yeah, I'll put your pee pee in my mouth. mouth, 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 mouth. You ever try to go get it in the south? Huh. Lots of Sometimes options. I forget we're streaming. None of these are jumping out at me, though. 
but there is one that I just found that is rather incredible, honestly. Yeah, I think this is... Wait, why are there, why are there two of them? Oh, goodness. Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Getsis of Team Plasma. I've become to pick my associates and don't need now your stealing Pokemon free with Don't need people. now, come mouth. <laughs> don't need now, come mouth. You no need no come mouth now. You no need no come mouth. Now. Well, I can't tell if you're lying I, or not, but I reckon I, you will this world out of fight. Fine, take him and get. Decision worthy of a business. Oh, the man, I can this is very confusing. I'm looking at something. It looks fantastic. But there are also images in here of other products. And I just want to be sure which one I am actually ordering. Gotcha. Remember, I'm an XL <laughs> and, and my shirt size is too. I'm not buying you shit. You okay? You throwing up? You ever have that where you like you have just the beginning of a tickle, but it's not enough to make you cough, but you still want it to go yeah. away? I usually get like a like a cucumber or something. To really get down there and wipe it. All right, I think I know. I think I know what I'm gonna buy. <laughs> I go to Subway and get a foot long. Excuse me. Hey, this man gave me fresh water. Oh, I still have your address in here. Cool. One oh. I, I will make sure elsewhere that it is correct. Let me. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was not a joke. I just caught myself in time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Almost did a John Vignacchi there. Jesus. <laughs> no one would show up at my house. Yeah, but only because nobody's watching this. Yeah. Alicia would show up. I'd be like, oh, sup. <laughs> sup. Uh, Honestly, if Alicia was like, hey, I'm coming to New York City or the East Coast, I'd probably be like, oh, yeah, you want to come over and hang out? Like, unless you're some sort of raging murderer. Okay, all right. It's a bit of a risk. This is supposed to get here on October 6th. According to the schedule, our last episode is going to be October 4th. So it's going okay. to be, it may get here earlier than that. We'll just have to see. That's that's my fault, though. That's okay. I forgive you. I just, I, I couldn't land on anything, and then I kept forgetting, but oh well. I think I got you something pretty nice. What's that boy's name? Swaltini? Small tiny? Small tiny. Is it me? Is it me, Small tiny boy? I love when I yell because I can hear myself through your headphones. <laughs> I wasn't crazy about this gym design, honestly. I got a little confused. It's a little hard. You got a little hard? I wish. A little hard, that's all I got. What'd you say? said a little hard that's all I got <laughs> <laughs> tiny penis I'm excited for extra life me too I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy those tickets tomorrow. did they did they say when uh golden eye is coming to the Xbox golden eye no the Xbox it's coming to Xbox Game Pass. Or through digital copies of Rare Replay? That's crazy, they're adding it to Rare Replay. That's wild. That game came out several years ago. It says native 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Resolution support up to 4K. It has improved controls like dual analog sticks. 
dual analog stick support, and it runs at a constant frame rate, which is rumored to be 60 FPS. Will not have online multiplayer, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's because the Nintendo's using the ROM as far as we know, and then Xbox literally yeah. recreated, which is crazy. Yeah. Because I, I've always, I've played a little bit on the N64, but those controls were just awful, quite frankly, and I never, like, got past that, so I'm, I'm excited to finally play this game. As it was intended to be, with good controls. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to add that to the Extra Life list. I, we I actually have... Oh, you put it there. Did you put it on the schedule or just in the ideas? I did the 8 to 10 block, whatever we were missing. I just put okay, it on the schedule. Gotcha. I, 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 it doesn't have to go there, obviously. Um. Oh, in the morning. Gotcha. I'm starting oh. to rethink the Wii Sports Triathlon. I think that would be pretty fun, but it... It's going to be a lot of standing. You know, it's not yeah. a static shot like the couch, but... I think we can get away with it. Yeah. Especially you could have people be cameramen and women. Well, we could just have an X on the floor. Like, hey, stand here when you're when you're when you're doing oh, it. Angle. it. It's confusing, but no, I, I didn't realize you could walk on these. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that you got to realize to do this. Hey, excuse me, sir. Boom, boom. Oh, I gotta make the wheel, too. I'm just trying to think of how I wanted to do that. I think I'll just make it out of plywood. I'll probably use cricket final to put the, the items on the wheel. And then I think I was just going to attach via pipe and then a berry. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, this is what I didn't like about this gym. It gets a little confusing. No, it's not confusing. I just... Uh, I was confusing in the way that I didn't know who it wanted me to fight next. Like, if this guy yeah. was an extra guy, or... I, I mean, I think you're going to have to fight all of them. That's, that's the confusing thing, is that it's still linear, but the way that it's laid out makes you think it's not. Mark Isaac. Mark Isaac. Hi, uh, you ever been drained giggly? <laughs> slurp, slurp. Um, I did something today which was very unfortunate. Uh -huh. uh, that I haven't told Karen yet, because I'll tell her when the box gets here. <gasps> Who'd you fuck? <laughs> I ordered a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> Why? Why? Because, like, because, okay, so I've been one of my streamers, or one of the streamers God. I watch, he does magic card collecting, and of course I would never get into that because it's so expensive. But it's really exciting to watch. No. Art's People, pretty good. The art's pretty the art's good, good, but he likes to unbox vintage magic, and even yeah. though that art's terrible, objectively, I love that kind of art. Um, yes. So, I've been watching, and I was like, I don't have any affinity for magic, and I want to order magic cards. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I played Yu-Gi-Oh! a bunch as a kid. And so I was like, oh, how much are, like, I want, how much is, like, a sealed box from 2004 of, like, the stuff I would have bought? And, like, the one I found was, like, $1,000, which honestly isn't bad at all, but I am not paying no, that kind of... No, fuck you, Will. That is bad. Please no, continue. No, I mean in the sense of, 
where bo where sealed boxes of magic cards can go for five hundred thousand dollars, like in the grants. Anyways, they're both uh, bad. Like five or six years ago, I can't remember. I didn't check, but they reprinted uh, all the original uh, cards and legend collections, and you could just buy the packs and the cards and stuff in this in these uh, thing. And it was on Prime on Amazon. I was like, I want these cards, like pieces of Exodia. They're not original. I don't care. I have them now. Uh, I should like. I want to make like that a does, thing. That with does them. sense. I was thinking about it. You could just literally like buy one of those poster frames and just collage. It. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I have. Like, that was my idea. I don't know where all my other ones are, but these are the ones I found at my parents' house. I have more. Um, like these are my original <clears throat> magic cards, and I'm missing a bunch, and I can't find them. I gotta Very do something because we went, to, we went to Hobby Lobby the other day, like a week or two ago, and they had a whole bunch of pick. I I was looking at picture frames because I, I got a map of the Nurburgring from when I was there in Germany, and so I got Ooh. it as like a souvenir and I, I framed it, um, as like a memento for my visit. So I was looking at frames to to frame it, and I found some beat up frames. One of them is twenty two by twenty eight inches, and it was like five dollars just because it had like some scratches on the frame. I was like, hell yeah. The problem is that's a that's an abnormal size. Like I was looking, they had a really cool Pokemon poster in their little poster holder, but it's it's too big for that. So I got to figure out what I'm going to put in there. I may just get something framed, like get something printed out at Staples, maybe something from one of the Subpixel shows, and then. Oh, that's, oh I need to get Sibylla's thing sure. printed. Yeah, there's actually a print shop down the street, uh, a local one. Or it's it's Sinorama, but I think like it's a local franchise owner. Yeah. Um, and I should go down there and get it printed because at uh, when I lived in Massachusetts, I would get my I would get the dungeon maps printed at Staples or not at Staples yeah. at, at at a local. I would try to go to Staples, and the guy was like, "We can't do this." So I went to a Minuteman Express, yeah, which was similar or which and is they like didn't Sinorama. Care about copyright, yeah. And they were like, "Yeah, we'll print that for you." Well. I did pay for the maps. Uh, like a chump. But still, that's probably why Staples was like, this is copyright, we can't print it unless like, you are the, the, the owner I, of it. I just remember it was like, we can give it to you on like regular paper for like $100. And then at Minuteman Express, it's on like the like vinyl stuff for yeah. like 50 bucks. And she cut that's it too. And I was like, sweet. Um... Because that's one of the things I was looking at was getting something from Pokewell or whatever, getting it printed out and framed and sent to you. But then I was like, that's going to be like a lot to send it in yeah. a frame. And then I was like, AliExpress, you, can, you for like 15 bucks, you can get that printed out on a canvas, like poster size. But then I was like, I don't want to ship that to him and then feel like make him feel like he's obligated to, to put it on a frame now just because I've already printed it out on canvas. So yeah but yeah that's why i would i haven't done it yet but for that copyright stuff in a way you can get it printed on canvas for cheap through aliexpress which is maybe what i'll do for this frame i just gotta figure out what i want in there um yeah i have so many posters that aren't framed right now because i just don't have the room or the time to buy frames for yeah. them and they're like a little expensive that's why I never really got into posters, because I was like, I want to treat these right, and I know it's going to be expensive and tedious yeah. to treat them right. I was into posters when the aesthetic, I could hang them on like, binder clips, and it looked cool. But yeah. now that I live in like a home with people, uh, I don't want to do that. So we, ha we have a big wall that our TV sits in front of, and I kind of want to decorate it. And my idea is to get a bunch of posters from movies that we like and print them out like almost eight and a half by 11 size and do like a collage of that or maybe a little bit bigger and a couple few fuck you camera why are you screaming <laughs> like that um so I, there would be like a collage of movie posters framed or at least on canvas behind the, uh, behind and around the tv but maggie doesn't like that idea maybe i'll just do it <laughs> Yeah, I'll just do it. <laughs> Why are you using oh, electric yeah, I, gun? I was thinking 
<laughs> Use Oshawa. You got a water boy. No, he, he died. I just brought him out and he's dead. Uh, well, you could use Street Rat. No, Rock is good against. Oh, that's right. He's He's got Rock. I'm just yeah, use that guy. Yeah. Schnitzel. And Schnitzel, are you using the. I, I would always be like, go to sleep and then Quiver Dance to buff my stats. And then the Seed. Seed Spore, whatever it's called. Yeah, or you could just do that and die. <sighs> I think Come I think on. isn't fighting good against Frock? Is it? I feel sense. like I feel like you're like Oh yeah, it is. Hitting Yeah, you're hitting you're cracking the rock. That's how I always think of it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Nice. Just survive, just survive, just survive, just survive. Ah. Uh, okay, alright, let's 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 think this through for a second. Headbutt him. Is fire I feel like fire's good against rock, isn't it? He's rock, he's rock ground. Is not, water, it's not grass fighting. It's not effective and against rock. And steel, and there's no steel. Water, uh, grass, ice. Ground. Well, can you at least have somebody to, to tank so you can... Well, I was going to revive. Bag. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think revive I Oshawa. Revive. I was almost going to revive. Isn't it status? It is. Small, tiny, just because... I think it's more health. And they're both effective. Oh, Jesus. And then I, th I think you want somebody else to tank so you can heal up. What I get for not not training. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah. I hate that they separate these out. <laughs> I know it's worth it because now you got tiny Venus. Okay. You were saying stun spore, or should I just... Actually, you know what? I think you... I'm not saying you have the wrong ones, but I I think you should do Magical Leaf. Oh, is right. he not ground? Is he just rock... No! Is he rock steel? He's rock steel? Uh, what does synthesis do? Fire fighting ground. But you can check the moves under Pokemon. I hate that. Synthesis heals? Oh. Paralyzing. You hit first, right? Yeah. But you're only doing what, about 25? Yeah, if I Giga Drain no. Maybe it's. Maybe I should try reviving. No, but not revive with this guy. Because wh when you revive, you're gonna take damage. So don't take damage to a Pokemon that's worthwhile. Do it to like Blitzel or somebody else that's useless. But don't, don't no, don't switch. Because when you switch, then you're gonna lose. You're gonna, you're gonna take a hit. Yeah, that's true. So I, in my mind, it's 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 you either heal this guy up this turn, take some damage and hit him next turn, or you hit him this turn. But the risk is if he takes you out with whatever hit he does right now. See, now you heal. But you gotta, I, I would try to full heal. And I think I can hit him. I think he's gone. I don't know, that's a little risky. 
Oh, he went first. Oh, oh. oh my god. Yes. And it, oh but he still has Pokemon, right? He still has a Pokemon. No, I think that was it. All right, it looked like he had two. Oh god damn it. Palpitoad. What is that? A water type? It's water. Water. So, no, so I'm good against. No, I don't think you are, isn't water? Grass is good oh, against actually, water, right? I'm checking. Yeah, grass is very effective against water, but you should heal. You should heal. Yeah. Get you, get you guy to max. Oh, see, this is more fun. I like this. Instead of just one hitting all the time. Feels good. What's this fucker gonna do? No, yeah, now you, now you just hit him. I should have my Giga Drain. You should really, you should really get Quiver Dance, and you should I just, have. I just you said just got no to Quiver Dance. Yeah. Why? Because I don't use effective stuff. I know, but that like maxes like all, all your specials. It's really good. Yeah. Can never get it. Now. I, I I know that because that's what the guide said. It was like you just need to do that like once or twice, and you're like super buff in the fight. Nice. We got it, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. That's badge number five. Sorry, I'm, I'm updating it. I gotta, um, I gotta train my Pokemon. Yeah, well, they, oh, the good news Kalucci, is you're back. Yes. Good news is between now and next stream. You need to do Route 6 and the Charge Stone Cave. Which okay. should give you plenty of training. Nice. Ooh. <sighs> oh, is there anything else I had to do here for this week? Uh, no, that's... I mean, I had Route 6 here, but I think we can just do that off stream. Okay. Folks, Halucha, thank you for tuning in. Doing good. Thank you, stranger. Aw, oh, hey. thanks, streaming our way. Let's keep playing. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, man. Thanks Here for the raid, go. guys. We have a, uh... What do you got? You're at five badges. Your Pokemon are what, around level 27, 29? Yes. Doing God's work. God, this Pokemon... Uh, how are you liking Pokemon White so far? Is White better I... than Black? I haven't played Careful. Pokemon Black, so I can't comment. That's the wrong answer. It's the wrong answer. I'm not making that joke, never mind. <laughs> you know what? I just thought of another joke. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make that joke either. Oh. Here I'll type my joke. <laughs> I got no reaction from you for my joke. That was a pretty good joke. <laughs> oh. Well, I oh. played more Pokemon. Dash Vic. What are you even playing? I'm is that, confused. Is that, the first time is that a you telling me you played more Pokemon, or are you telling me you played more Pokemon than me? Because I think it's pretty well known that I haven't played that much. The world over knows. God, I just, can I just tell you that you I said cannot. yes, it was not a yes or no question. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people do that. Can I just say that I can't trust anything you say about games that you've played or not because you've now screwed me over on two, which is Tetris and Pokemon, in which you described your playing in the most convoluted way possible. <laughs> Ask me about uh, chess. <laughs> Ask me about chess. <laughs> Have you been following the chess controversy in the chess world? Have I been following the... I love that I, I went don't, to Route... I don't follow chess, yeah, and yet I it's so big that Route it's coming six. through. I didn't heal any of my Pokemon. You idiot. <laughs> I just came right here. See, Elise has it. So basically, there was a tournament, I think it was in Kansas City, and like... 
who is considered there was a guy there who is considered the greatest chess player alive right now. And he got beaten by like, I think it's like a 16 or 18 year old guy who is also good, but should not be able to beat him. And people are basically like the 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 guy that's much better that got beaten. He left. He got beaten and then he resigned from the tournament the next day and basically said, I'm not going to talk about what happened because it would get me in trouble. And then like people are studying the game and they're like, this is very unusual. Like he he had to have been cheating. So basically, mm. there's a 17 year old kid that is accused of cheating in a chess tournament, but it's gotten insane because I think at one point Elon Musk said something like he said, like, oh, yeah, he could have just had like like vibrating anal beads telling him the correct moves. And so now that's like everybody's running with it being like all he needed was like a like like wireless vibrating anal beads to like tell him the correct move and like somebody like putting in stuff into the computer and, and now he's like I'll play the next tournament nude to prove to you that I that I can do it and it's yeah. just like this it's like a cheating controversy but it's just like there's zero evidence of it other than the upset and just people like making controversy and like rumors out of just nothing uh, I can't believe okay. you're fighting you're fighting a trainer battle without healing. That's very funny. Wow. They're underleveled. That was not effective, but you still... <laughs> yeah, do synthesis. Please, please heal yourself up. Or I can make him, uh... <laughs> I can make him Vibrate. paralyzed for life. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like the end of every Pokemon game. It just shows every Pokemon you paralyzed and they're just in a wheelchair crying. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's honestly surprising that you won that because you're bad at Pokemon. So, actually, you're okay at Pokemon. Thanks. All right, go heal, you coward. <gasps> Finally. Nice. Guys, I can fly back and check on my daycare. <laughs> How many levels <laughs> do you think they're gone up? They're gone up. Who'd you put in daycare? I got two Pokemons in Daycare. I think those Pokemons. I think the Pappy I went and caught and put in Daycare, and then I think someone else is in there. Hey, bit will heal. If there was like an opposite indecent proposal situation in which somebody paid you one million dollars to have carnal relations with a Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you choose? Why am I getting that much? It's that's it's like a reverse indecent proposal, you know, where it's like, can, oh, can I have sex with your wife? I'll pay you a million dollars. That's the that's the plot of that. Movie. I'm not married. This, but this is the opposite, where it's somebody paying you a million dollars to have sex with Pokemon. I'll do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> I this is a lot. You're spending a lot on the premise when I just want to know which one you want to pork. Like that's all I, I want to know. I don't want to pork any of the no, Pokemon will? because I'm putting a gun to your head, buddy. I'm putting a gun <laughs> to your head. Are these Pokemon okay. giving me consent in an intelligent way? Yes, they're into it. I'm just going to tell like you, the they're aroused. Who could they're do aroused. That. The whole time, they're aroused, Will. Which one is it? I feel like Mewtwo is the only one who could properly give consent. So Mewtwo, if they give consent. <laughs> Coward. But You're the one that was getting all like... There, what? You're the one that got like really horny on main for that like snake Pokemon. Remember we did a uh, the oh, best yeah. episode and you were like you you were like we had to hand check because you kept being like I like the snake Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. You don't remember that? I'm going to look it up. I remember talking about Gyarados going inside. The oh, no, the no, best. it wasn't Gyarados. It was uh, it was Dratini going in my butt. I do remember that. It wasn't a best episode, though. That was Poke Will season one. But there is a best episode where we talked about the, the what was it, the sexiest but Pokemon? Also, in that scenario, I'm not having sex with Dratini. It just happened to go inside my butt. God. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up, level up. I love Kiara, my favorite artist. Oh. 
Here we go. The hottest Pokemon. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, what, do I get rid of Gust here? What do you think, Halucha? That's when we found out that Kyle's a furry, basically. <laughs> Can't, I don't want to get rid of Click Attack. My nominees. Zarina, Gotharita, and Halucha as the hottest Pokemon. Okay. Uh, next up was... I'm going to get rid of Gust. Yeah, get rid of Gust. Thank you. Kyle's nominees were... Uh, the flame, flame guy, throw, sock and throw. Oh, yeah. Remember. But I think with those, see, especially with that, I think... Salazzle! Salazzle. With, with the best thing, first of all, the, with the fuckable Pokemon thing, it's all about being like in a world where I could take this Pokemon on a date and it was an exception thing. Yes, we all know the Vaporeon coffee pasta. We're all aware. You're such a coward. I can't believe you turned this into an argument about consent instead of just telling me which Pokemon you would work. Because it's kind of gross. I don't walk up Salazzle. to a dog. Salazzle's gross. I can't believe. Salazzle is gross. Looks like Cleopatra. I forgot about that. You remember the end of the episode came down to Halucha v. Salazzle, and we ended up just flipping a coin for it? Because you fuckers have no taste. Where's the... Yeah. Our, Where's our the final daycare? three were Lopunny, Incineroar, three. Incineroar, and uh, Salazzle. And the, the, the key argument was around Salazzle or Halucha. Salazzle does suck. As a Pokemon and as a Pokemon design, I would never sleep with Salazzle. Whereas <laughs> Will was Ever. just like... I did Will was raging. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying I like Salazzle? You you wanted Salazzle over Halucha. Because I believe it was Kyle and I versus you and David. Oh, Halucha I don't think... v Salazzle. I, it, that is more, I do not want to have sexual relations with the Pokemon Halucha. To be very specific, but I would rather do it with Salazzle. You hear that, Halucha? Do you hear that? How dare you? Halucha is like the best Pokemon. Incredible. It's a Wait. Nacho Libre hawk. It's incredible. Lady, is that her husband's looking for? Her? Anyways, hey man, you we should do more Pokemon episodes. Here. We should do more episodes of the bests. It's been a while. Why did my Pokemon have an egg? Did you fuck my Pokemon? Wait, Nacho what? Libre? Lucha Libre? Yeah, you're right. Nacho Lucha. Libre is the movie. That's fair. So I goofed it. Stupid. You're stupid. Jason's here. Jason, you want to be on Pokewell on Tuesday? Because I don't feel like being on the show anymore. Yeah, Anne's the king of being terrible on streams. Not terrible on streams. I'm just not paying attention because I realized I don't really enjoy watching people play Pokemon. Well, you could try. What's worse, casual racism or like deliberate oh racism? <laughs> Folks, thanks for tuning in this week. We're going to end it here because I can't take much more of this. Um, um, oh. Thanks for watching. You can find our content at subpixelfilms.com brings you straight to our link tree where you can go to all sorts of different things. This guy's gonna give me an egg. What's the egg? How do you, what do you do with the egg? You gotta walk with it. How, how the fuck am I supposed to know? How could I possibly know, Ian? What information do I have? The man handed me an egg. You're the one playing the game! Is there a Yoshi in it? Uh, put a Pokemon with flame body at the front of your team, then run the Sky Hour Bridge back and forth until it is hatched. I think you, I think you just have to walk. It's just steps. So you just Happy's keep walking. level twenty. Do they tell you which of your Pokemon got knocked up? Will of all the Pokemon 
in your party, which one's the most likely to get knocked up? And which ones are pro-life versus pro-choice? <laughs> Thank you everyone for tuning in, and we'll see you all on Tuesday. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>